Welcome students. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to change eye color. This is also a real quick and easy project just like last week's. Um, what I'm going to show you is I, I'm actually using um, two, two people in this portrait actually, me and, and Miss Elise. Um, you don't have to. You can just do a close-up portrait of anybody. It can be yourself or anyone else. Get close. Get uh, a nice clear shot of the eyes. So you can see the eyes clearly and the color clearly. All right, so I'm starting with this image. I'm going to change my colors and her colored eyes. Let's start with um, the zooming in so we can get in really close and see what we're doing. Whoops, just kidding. Zooming. There we go. And we're going to start with this eye right here. And I'm going to select the colored area around my eye, the iris, with the lasso tool. So I'm going to be real careful and come around and choose that area here. Once I have it selected, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right back on top of itself. So I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, and I get this creepy floating eye that I need to move. So I'm going to use my move tool and I'm going to carefully move my creepy floating eye back right where it belongs, right on top. Match it up perfectly, hopefully. Okay, what you should notice is uh, that my pasted creepy floating eye is in its own layer. So now I have two layers. I have the background with the actual picture and now I'm working on layer one, which is just the eye by itself. If I would like to make sure that I know what's on each layer. I can always uncheck the box of the layer below and I can see my creepy eye and go back and I can see that it blends in with the rest of my face. Okay, simple. Next step, choose the color. Um, I'm going to choose green because I have blue eyes. I've always wanted green. Let's see what they look like. Green. Nice solid green. And I'm going to choose OK. Alright, so I'm going to make sure that I'm on my top layer because I was on the bottom layer there, make sure I'm on that floating eye layer. I've chosen my color. I'm going to choose my paintbrush now. With my paintbrush, I'm just going to paint in this really bright green color. It's going to look crazy. Just hang with me. So I'm going to paint it in right here where the color will go. Okay, so I have these weird glowing demon eyes now. So let me show you how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to come over to my layers menu. I'm going to click the toggle button, which is right here, because I have some things hidden in there. They're really important. First of all, I have opacity. This is too much, so I'm going to lower that so it's not too crazy. And then I'm also going to change my layer mode, and I'm going to go from normal. I'm going to find darken, and then it's instantly going to look a lot better. It might still be a little bit too bright, but you get the idea. If I zoom out, you can um, actually see it looks like a kind of normal. It's a little too bright. So I could lower the opacity even more if I want it to be less noticeable. All right, so um, I'm going to repeat this step over and over again to change all four eyes in this picture. So when I'm done, I've actually already done that, you'll have something that looks like that. I don't know how well you can see it, but... Um, I have green eyes and Miss Elise now has kind of purpley. Hers are a little bit harder to do because hers are darker. And when you're done, when you like your result, you just go ahead and save it and turn it in.